Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, as you can see, we have a package. Something arrived in the mail, and um, yeah, it is a couple of cubes for us to unbox it. So, in here, we have got some already starting right there. Um, so, we're just gonna reach in and grab something. So, Reaching over here, and the first thing I already see right here is the um, Ling Ao Magic Clock. So this was on sale at Speedcube Shop um, for about six dollars, um, and I've never had a clock before, so I'm pretty excited because this is a new. Like, it's not new, but this is a WC event, and pro and the first non-cubic WA event. It's kind of hard to push down. Um, but this does not turn side to side like a 3x3 three three or any other cube. I don't know why I used the Rubik's, but on this side, you have to push these. Oh my gosh, one second. So it looks like push these guys, and then by pushing both down on top, these two right here turn. If I push it back up, none. If I turn this one, this corner turns. If I push this one, this corner turns. If I push these two, not in the world. Hold up. If I do three, okay, if I do three, then those move. No matter which gear I turn. And then, and same thing on this side. So um, these are called the wheels, I believe. And yeah, so. I think I'm gonna give this guy a quick mix up, sort of. I'll probably do another video on how to solve one of these guys after I kind of mess around with it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so put that to the side. We are going to grab another puzzle from the mystery box. Over here. Whoa, these are big packages. Oh my gosh, this is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. These are the size of my hands. This is a regular 3x3. So this is very big, I did not expect it. So this is the Fanchin um, Fruit Series Apple Cube. This was also on Speed Cube Shop. This was, um, uh, box is a little crushed in there, but not bad. This was on Speed Cube Shop. It was about uh, $5.95, I believe. Um, and this is part of the original Fanchin uh, Fruit Cubes. So yeah, let's get into this. So these, this is all a shape mod to a 3x3. Three three. We've got this little instruction booklet, which is just a 3x3 three three solving booklet. And so we're gonna take this out. It is a nice kind of, um, kind of a rose color. I'm gonna be honest. Whoa. Oh, it's got a nice white interior. This is honestly kind of cool. Um, it turns pretty decent, honestly, for, for having weird shape, is it corner cut? No, the edges are too jagged, but oh, forward corner cutting. There's just not much reverse. But yeah, if you can see that, that's pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna do that same thing. Come on, line up. No, like this. And then, that reversed all the centers. Okay, this is honestly, this would be a fun thing to just kind of sit down with um, and mess around with until you got pretty decent at it. But yeah, so this is a three by three shape mod, like I said. Um, yeah, turns pretty good, honestly. I mean, I'm gonna do a mix up on this guy. That is a very cool shape shifting cube. Reaching in, so we've got two cubes left. 
Ah, banana. Actually, I want to save this one for last. We're going to pull out the, uh, the Fanchion Pear. Um, so this is the Series 2. This is one of the Series 2 Fruit Cubes, and this is these ones are on sale. So there's a peach, an orange, a pear, and a lemon. But the pear was also in the, I mean, but the lemon was also in the V1 package. Um, but these are all on sale. So this was $4.95, I believe, on Speed Cube Shop. Um, once again, a little instruction booklet. And same packaging as the apple. I'm just gonna take this guy out. This is very cool. Um, I'll put the package over here. There we go. So this one's kind of a different shape. It's a bit louder than the, oh. Ooh, there's a bit of a spring problem. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the apple turns a lot smoother than the pear, but then again, the apple is um, a bit of a different shape, you know, it's it's more of an easy shape to make into a cube because these pieces, these pieces on this pair are a lot smaller. Um, but yeah, this is cool so far, so I'm going to do a checkerboard pattern on this. This is kind of cool, honestly. It looks a little like um, some sort of like droid from Star Wars, I guess. Kind of sits. Um, oops, one too far of a turn. But yeah, this is a cool cube so far. I'm gonna do another mix up on this guy. Like I said before, it's just hard kind of aligning the layers on this guy. But yeah, this looks honestly cooler than the Apple mixed up. There's a lot different pieces and since there's no stickerings it's gonna be a bit harder to um, solve because you kind of just have to look at what the pieces look like themselves um, so yeah but this is a very cool cube I realized one thing and that is when you're doing the middle layer it is like the centers can turn whereas a 3 by 3 doesn't matter which way they're oriented it still solves you know um so that's one thing i'll try and have to figure out an algorithm for but one thing i really like about these cubes is that the insides are white as if they were like an actual piece of fruit which i really do enjoy myself so yeah so now last but not least oh there's another thing in the package oh yes i did order these so um, i got some logo stickers for my cubes these are just Two sheets of stickers to put on the center of these guys. Um, so yeah, I will do that later. And that's good. I'm gonna put these guys to the side. Is the one I kind of put aside for you guys. I'm sorry about that. This was just kind of the most <laughs> extraordinary um, shape that I saw. And I was like, this is absolutely crazy. So once again, the Fanchon Fruit Series. Um, this is a part of the Series 1 along with the apple and the lemon, which I did not get. Um, this is not Series 2. The only Series 2 cube I have is this pear right here. So we're going to open this up. This was um, not on sale. What in the world? How does this box open? This was not on sale. What does it open? Ah, uh -huh. this was not on sale. This is the same price as the apple. And um, this is the same price as the apple. But I just saw this and it was such a random shape that I was like, there's no way. But as you can see right here, there is a way. Um, this is just too unreal, guys. So this does not have the white inside, as you can see right there. It's got yellow still, but I think that's because the attention to detail goes on the tips of all of these. So, oh my gosh, these half turns, what? Oh my gosh. Oh, I just inverted the center and mixed it. Whoops. This is honestly, just amazing this is crazy guys if, if 
you have the chance to get this thing, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just for you guys. This um, is just absolutely amazing. It does these half turns. Um, I'm gonna do a checkerboard pattern, I think. Wait a second. Is it your board? No. I did something weird. Did I just fix it? Yeah. This is an absolutely beautiful cube. I would just mess around with this, honestly. I could just sit there and... Um, it's kind of awkward to turn, obviously, because it's in the shape of a banana. Here's a 3x3 uh, three three comparison to that. But, yeah, it's just crazy that they're able to do this. Um, so, that's pretty much the end of this video of this little unboxing here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, here's a 3x3 three three comparison for all of these cubes that I have. And, yeah. Go check out Speed Cube Shop if you'd like um, to get some of these kits for yourself. I will put the link down in the description below. And um, here's some lube. They have their own custom lube called the Cosmic Series. And yeah, I think you guys would really enjoy um, some of these cubes. The clock was, if I'm going to be honest, a teeny bit of a letdown. Um, I'll have to figure out how to make this a bit easier to turn, in my opinion. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy today's video um i might do a separate video on the fruit cubes and a separate video on the clock make sure to like and subscribe and see you later